In the last two years, infrastructure investments have been widely mediatized. Could you explain what are the main drivers behind this? I think there are various drivers. I think uh, first of all, we've seen quite interesting uh, new investments such as new alternative uh, energies, for example, that this caused quite some media attention. I think in addition uh, to that, and uh, that's mainly then on the financing side, we've seen a shift from the banking side to the insurance and pension uh, funds market. Uh, large new investments like the ones from AXA, the ones from Allianz in the recent months has raised quite some attention in the media. Currently, there is a financing gap existing for long-term, large-scale infrastructure projects due to liquidity constraints imposed on banks. In your opinion, what should be done to close the financing gap and who can close it? That's right. With the Basel III regulation, the banks need to go short-term. That opens the window for insurance company and pension funds to step into um, what the banks did so far, namely infrastructure debt and infrastructure equity. That helps to diversify for governments and find new investors for their needs. With this growing trend, several players, mostly insurers, are getting into the infrastructure debt space. Do you expect new go-to-market models emerging? Not necessarily. I think when we look at the market, we've seen direct and indirect investments for quite some time. The new dimension is really the long tail business. And there we will see the shift from the banks more towards pension funds and also insurance companies. Asset managers will have an additional dimension and they can play on the short term as well as on the long term side. How can current regulations such as Solvency II affect insurers in investing in the infrastructure market? Today, rather negatively, because we do see a high capital charge on infrastructure equity and debt, which obviously is a bit prohibitive. We do hope that in the future, or in the near future, the IOPA, the regulatory body, is relaxing those high capital charges. Are insurers the white knights by investing massively in the infrastructure market? Indeed, looking at the current challenges of banks for long-term investment, we must admit that pension funds as well as insurance companies are well positioned to close the gap on the long-term side. Looking at the current challenges, the environment of different EU countries we strongly believe that long-term investment of insurance companies will help to improve the overall economic environment. 